Welcome, everybody, to the Penalty Box segment for Tuesday, October 29th. And I got three NHL bets coming your way. This is a five-minute video. Stay with us all the way to the end. Let's get straight into the first game. Seattle on the road playing the Montreal Canadiens. And initially, I was really liking the Canadiens here. They've won two games in a row. They beat Philadelphia and St. Louis. Uh, and they're starting to play better hockey. But then after a deep dive, I, I realized I don't want to play in front of Seattle after they've lost two games, three games in a row. Uh, it's tough for these professional teams to lose four straight games. Uh, Seattle's only going to lose four straight games, maybe three times all year, twice all year. I don't want to be betting into that type of a number. So I'm going to look at over the total in this game. The total is only six points. And the bottom line here really is this is one of those simple bets of I want to play the Montreal team over. This is a Montreal team that is going to score more than three goals a game. They'll average somewhere around 3.1, 3.2 goals a game. And they will let in somewhere around 3.1, 3.2 goals per game. If you go down their last few games, they let Philadelphia put up a three on them. Now, they did play good defensively against St. Louis, only allowing them two but before that, it was seven, four, four, and six. Uh, this team is really struggling defensively, and also they lack goaltending, and they're going to all year long. As for Seattle, uh, this team can score. Uh, I don't think they're going to be a scoring juggernaut, but I think we're going to get three out of them, especially against Montreal. Take Seattle and Montreal over the total of six. Now, before we get into our next game, which is Minnesota and Pittsburgh, it is $5 Tuesday over at Wager Talk. $5 Tuesday. My feature play is a 4% NFL ATS bet. Now, guys, to give you an understanding of how good I am on these bets, over the last three years, I am 46 and 24 in NFL ATS bets. That's a 66% winning uh, rate over three seasons. Find me a handicapper with a better number than that. I don't think you can. I have a 4% NFL ATS bet up. It's only $5 until midnight PST time on Tuesday. Let's get into the Minnesota-Pittsburgh game. And we're going straight into the over on this game as well. For the same reason we like the over in Montreal, we like the over in Pittsburgh. This is a team that's going to score goals. And this is a team that is horrible, horrible on defense. This Pittsburgh team has played 10 games this year. They've allowed three or more goals in every single one of those 10 hockey games. They've allowed four or more goals in six straight hockey games. So we know Pittsburgh's going to get theirs. And uh, uh, Minnesota's going to get theirs playing on that horrific Pittsburgh uh, defense. We know Pittsburgh's going to score as well. Uh, this Pittsburgh team uh, just put put up three goals in, in three of their last four games. And really quick, Minnesota in their last five games, 5-4, five, 5-3, four, five, and 4. How the hell this is 6 blows my mind. Take over the total. Now, as for the Kings playing San Jose, outstanding win by San Jose last night. Uh, down 4-1 late in the third, score three goals in 90 seconds against Utah and then pull it out in overtime. Then they have to get on an airplane, fly to San Jose to play the well-rested Kings team. Horrible, horrible spot for San Jose here. Not only is LA a better team, but they're more rested. Uh, and I understand that the line is minus 300. Screw that. Take LA at minus one and a half goals. On top of that, the LA Kings have beat San Jose head to head two in a row and eight of their last nine meetings. Great spot for LA, terrible spot for San Jose. I think we're going to see a blowout here. Maybe four, five, one, that type of a number. Take the Kings minus one and a half. That's it for the penalty box segment, guys. Please make sure to get down on my 4% NFL play. It's only $5. Thank you so much for watching. As for Tuesday, I have one NHL, one NBA, and one college football bet for you guys. Lots of love, and we'll see you tomorrow.